Here we go to get the program underway in our telecast part of the day. And the Herb Hedeman invitation over 1,600 is underway. And it's going to be Joel Donner who is going to be the man who leads them out. And there are some of the runners who are going to be gradually trying to make up their time. Tom Forthorpe in the, the green. Joshua Johnson in the pink there. And it's Joel Donner using his mark from uh, 100 metres who is going to be the man who's out in front early on. Chasing him in second place is number 26 and that is Nathan Hartigan who's trained by Steve Modigetti so he'll know a little bit about distance racing. Yeah it's great that you know there's these athletes which have these coaches that that have so much experience and and you know to be given this opportunity the wind's been very difficult out here today which which can be quite challenging for these athletes uh, but it's just about getting into pace and rhythm that they need. Also great to see Michael Roger you can see him in the middle of a uh, pack there uh, who competes with the disabled athletes. Uh, he's one of the 1,600 metres back markers at the Bay Sheffield. Let's have a look and see how much ground Brenton Rowe has made up. Well, the good thing is that he's got onto the back of Saunders, Forthorpe and Johnson. And that is exactly what we were talking about. You'll see him in just a moment coming into picture. There he is with the last bunch. And so they are effectively going to be able to have their own little race for a while and hopefully close that gap. You know, it's interesting you mentioned about Michael Roger and uh, Philo Saunders, who's also running here today in the, the yellow top. I mean, there's a few out there at the moment, but he he's actually coaches Michael. So it'll be interesting if they get up close to each other, what, what might be said. Man's got up to third now is Douglas Hamerlock. Now, he finished second in the 2012-1600 backmarkers, and he's the one who's made a bit of a move here. He came from a 75-metre mark, and he's intent on getting up the front early. Also making up some ground is Jack Davies. He's in the black and white stripes as we look now at uh, Brenton Rowe, looking to make up ground. He's actually got past Johnson and Forthorpe. And so, again, they're trying to urge each other on to get onto the pack, and they're close enough at the moment. They've got pretty close after a couple of laps, and they're only 15 or 20 metres off the pack in front of them. Yes, Brenton Rowe, when he gets up to the pack, it's just really trying to get around that traffic. That's probably going to be the most challenging part. So it's Douglas Hamerlock at the moment who leads. Chris Diskum has got himself up into second place, and Jack Davies is in third. But these leaders are possibly aware of the fact that Brenton Rowe has got himself up into the field, and he's starting to run on really strongly now. He is only, and I say only, about 35 metres behind the leaders. And with an athlete like Brenton Rowe, that should be a possibility in the last lap. Yes, he looks, he's looking very comfortable right now here, Brenton Rowe. It's just coming around the outside of trying, taking over those inside runners. Here he is really starting to make his move. And he makes the move in the middle of the pack. So it is Hamerlock who leads at the bell from Discom. Davies is third. It's Tim Norton in fourth place. And there is Brenton Rowe about to get up to Tim Norton as they enter the last lap. The gap between himself and the leaders is about 30 metres. And now it's Discom who takes it over after Hamerlock took it up. Brenton Rowe's got himself up into fourth. He's behind Davies at the moment. Of course, he's had to expend a lot of energy to get there. And the gap is not really closing that much at the moment. And you'd think it's going to take a very big performance now because it's Chris Discom who has gone for home and he's got a lead of probably about eight or ten metres over Douglas Hamerlock. Davies is still in third place at the moment. Brenton Rowe has run his race in getting up to them, but he's done a terrific job to get up into fourth placing. And behind him is Tim Norton. But this has been a very well-timed run. Chris Discom, the old saying is you get a good mark, you use it. He ran fifth in the national 3,000 metre steeplechase recently and he's strong at the end and Chris Diskin runs away and wins it. Davies gets up to run second. Hamer